हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर थर्टी टू ऑन बेसिक स्टेटिस्टिक्स सो फार वी हैव डिस्कस्ड डिफरेंट मेजर्स ऑफ बेसिक स्टेटिस्टिक्स वी हैव डिस्कस मेजर्स ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी मेजर्स ऑफ डिस्पर्सन मेजर्स ऑफ स्क्यूनेस एंड कार्टोसिस सो फॉर ऑल दीज मेजर्स वी आर एज्यूमिंग दैट वी आर डीलिंग विथ ओनली वन वेरिएबल द डेटा विच वी हैव फॉर ऑल दीज measures was having only one variable or we have discussed all these things for distribution of only one variables so those type of distributions are known as univariate distributions or univariate data that is there will be only one variable under discussion now in some situations we have more than one variable also for example suppose we are interested in the heights and weights of some persons then here we have two variables suppose i denote height by x and weight by y then i will have two variables x and y so if we have two variables under discussion then that type of distribution is known as by variate distribution or that type of data is known as by variate data for example if we have height and weight as two variables under discussion then the data containing values of these two variables is known as by variate data or that type of distribution is called by variate distribution so if we have two variables we can say that distribution is by variate distribution if we have more than two variables then we can say that distribution is having three variables or multivariate distribution so our focus from this lecture is on the measures for bivariate distribution we are going to discuss descriptive statistics for bivariate distributions so if we have by variate distributions we will have two variables that we will denote by x and y now if we have two variables values of two variables then sometimes we are interested the relationship between these two variables suppose we have given some values of these two variables x and y then we are interested that uh, as x is increasing whether y is increasing or not or if x is increasing whether y is decreasing or increasing so in short we are interested in the relationship between two variables so how to measure the degree of relationship between two variables that we are going to discuss in this topic so this topic is correlation correlation means it is the measure of relationship between two variables so if change in one variable affects the change in other variable then we can say that two variables are correlated if the corresponding change in one variable affects the corresponding change in another variable then x and y are said to be correlated and the measure of relationship between these two variables is called correlation so we are going to discuss different types of correlation and uh, then we will see how to measure the degree of relationship between two variables or how to measure the correlation between two variables so our focus from this lecture onwards will be on this measure which is the measure of degree of relationship between two variables so in this lecture we are going to discuss different classifications of correlation two variables are said to be correlated if the change in one variable results in a corresponding change in the other variable correlation is a statistical tool for measuring the relationship between two or more variables now we understand different classifications of correlation so first classification is positive and negative correlation so suppose we have two variables 
x and y. Now what is meaning of positive correlation? So suppose values of x are increasing and if values of x are increasing that implies that y is also increasing then the correlation between x and y is said to be positive. Similarly if values of x are decreasing that results in decreasing values of y also then also correlation is said to be positive that is if x is increasing y is increasing or if x is decreasing then y is also decreasing that means x and y go in this same direction if x goes up y also goes up if x goes down y also goes down so if x and y deviate in this same direction then the correlation is said to be positive and reverse is negative correlation so if x is increasing implies that y is decreasing then correlation is said to be negative or if x is decreasing implies that y is increasing then correlation is said to be negative so we will have negative correlation if x and y move in opposite direction that is if x is increasing y is decreasing or if x is decreasing y is increasing then the correlation is said to be negative correlation so here i have written if the values of the two variables deviate in the same direction this means if the increase in the values of one variable results in a corresponding increase in the values of other variable or if a decrease in the values of one variable results in a corresponding decrease in the values of other variable then correlation is said to be positive or direct correlation these are the examples of variables having positive correlation if we consider heights and weights of some persons then we know that these heights and weights move in the same direction okay we can assume that as height increasing increases weight also increases so that type of correlation is positive another example is family income and expenditure on luxury items so if we consider variable x as income of family and variable y as expenditure on luxury items then it is obvious that as income increases expenditure will also increase and if increase income will decrease expenditure will also decrease so this is the example of positive correlation similarly amount of rainfall and yield of crop this is also having positive correlation x and y are positively correlated if rainfall will increase yield of crop will increase and vice versa and price and supply of a commodity this is also having positive correlation then correlation is said to be negative if the variables deviate in the opposite direction that is if the increase in the values of one variable results in a corresponding decrease in the values of other variable or if the decrease in the values of one variable results in a corresponding increase in the values of other variable that is if x goes up y goes down and if x goes down y goes up that is x and y deviate in the opposite direction then correlation is said to be negative these are the examples of variables having negative correlation volume and pressure of a perfect gas so as volume increases pressure decreases and vice versa the day temperature and sale of woolen garments as the day temperature increases sale of woolen garments will decrease and vice versa another example is price and demand of a commodity so all these are examples of negative correlation 
सो दिस इज वन क्लासिफिकेशन पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव को रिलेशन वी मे हैव जीरो को रिलेशन ऑल्सो इन दैट केस एक्स एंड वाई आर नॉट को रिलेटेड द चेंज इन वन वेरिएबल डज नॉट अफेक्ट द चेंज इन अनदर वेरिएबल इन दैट केस वी कैन से दैट को रिलेशन इज जीरो सो दैट कैन ऑल्सो बी कंसिडर्ड एज अनदर क्लासिफिकेशन जीरो को रिलेशन मीन्स इफ देर इज ए चेंज इन एक्स इट डज नॉट अफेक्ट द अनदर वेरिएबल वाई और इफ देर इज ए चेंज इन वाई इट डज नॉट अफेक्ट द वेरिएबल एक्स now next classification is linear and non linear correlation so for linear correlation first we understand this example here we are given values of two variables x is taking the values 10 20 30 40 50 here y has values 70 140 210 280 280 280 and 350 now here we can notice the change in x change in x is x is increasing from 10 to 20 so there is a change of 10 in x for each value here there is also a change in x of amount 10 okay so we can see that difference of any of two successive x values is 10 and here this difference is 70 for any two neighboring values of y there is a change of 70 so we can see that if we take the ratio of this change for any two neighboring values then this ratio is going to be remain constant it is 1 by 7 so if we have this type of correlation that is if we have change in x and change in y and if we take the corresponding ratio of changes then that change will remain constant so this type of correlation is called linear correlation so if we plot the scatter diagram of values of x and y in this case then values of x and y suppose we consider values of x on x axis values of y on y axis then if we plot the values of x and y then they will fall on a straight line for this type of linear correlation values of x and y will lie on a straight line so this type of correlation is said to be linear correlation if the amount of change in one variable tends to bear a constant ratio to the amount of change in the other variable so here amount of change in one variable that is x is 10 and amount of change in one another variable y is 70 so this ratio is constant if the amount of change in one variable that is 10 tends to bear a constant ratio to the amount of change in another variable then the correlation is said to be linear so here we can see here this ratio remains constant therefore correlation is linear and we can uh, say mathematically that if x and y are related by this type of formula y equal to a plus bx where a and b are constants if x and y follow this mathematical relationship then also we can say that correlation is linear so in that case values of x and y will fall on a straight line of this form so it is clear that the ratio of change between the two variables is constant for this problem if such variables are plotted on the graph paper all the plotted points would fall on a straight line so as i discuss we will obtain straight line now if the correlation is not linear it it is considered as non linear or curvy linear correlation is non linear or curvy linear if the amount of change in one variable does not bear a constant ratio 
to the amount of change in the other variable for example if we consider two variables suppose x is considered as amount of rainfall and y is considered as production of wheat then suppose we double the amount of rainfall then the production of wheat would not necessarily be doubled if x is doubled that is if we have rainfall which is two times the average rainfall then we cannot say that this uh, production of wheat will also be doubled so for these two variables correlation will not be linear correlation will be non linear so if we double the amount of rainfall the production of wheat would not necessarily be doubled so for these two variables correlation is non linear and here i have sketched the graphs showing the linear and non linear correlation ship so here we can see values of x and y are very near to the straight line so this type of relation is linear correlation here values of x and y are tending to this non linear graph so this type of relation is non linear correlation so i hope you are fam familiar with the concept of correlation now our aim in this uh, basic statistics topic is to measure the amount of correlation ship between two variables x and y so we are having measures of correlation that we are going to discuss from next le lecture how to find out the degree of relationship between two variables x and y that we will discuss from next lecture so our next topic will be on measures of correlation so this is all about this lecture i hope you like it thank you very